Shalom, Makiyom, this is the brother Yawanathan coming from the Great Millstone, West Palm Camp. Before I begin, I want to give all praise, glory, and honor to Yahweh Bahashem, Yahweh Shah, Bahashem Rakakwadash. A double honor to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone that root well, and peace, blessings, and salutations of the whole four legs scattered abroad. The correct name for the Heavenly Father is Yahweh, who is what only calls God. The correct name for His only begotten Son is Yahweh Shah. Who this word eagerly calls Jesus, Bahashim is in the name of Rakhakudash, is through the Holy Spirit, you know, and something that uh, something that I was meditating upon, you know, the most valuable things or the most rarest, rarest things in this earth are hidden. Crystals, ruby, gold, you know, treasure. Hey, it's all hidden. All right. And that's just to show you the value in it, man. Right, everything that hey, the Heavenly Father, Yahweh, and His only begotten Son, Yahweh Shah, made, all right, again, as far as it being treasures or even animals, okay, or even, you know, trees, you know, or artifacts, is hidden, all right, because it, it's a value unto it, man. And that's just like this knowledge, this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, all right, it's hidden. And why is it hidden? Because it is valuable, all right? Pursuing the Isaiah, the 33rd chapter, in the sixth verse, as it is written, you know, it says, Wisdom and knowledge shall be the stability of thy time, okay? And that wisdom and knowledge is found in the Bible, okay, through the Holy Spirit, you know? So, um, just looking at a few things, you know, I typed in, um, top 10 rarest things to find on earth are right, number one being a a bismuth a bismuth crystal it doesn't really show you the picture okay hey, but that's the number one rarest thing to find on earth man you know so again you know when you really think about it the, hey, the things that are most valuable a hey, a how about shimao sha yeah he hides it man you know even on a a smaller scale but you know treasure as far as like gold and silver you know gold and silver is hidden you know it even shows you that in uh like pirate movies you know even though that's it's through but it even shows you that man everybody is trying to uh, uh, find treasure hidden you know the heavenly father hides it you know he hides crystals he hides rubies you know, he hides those things because it, it, it's, it, it's very valuable, man. And the Lord hides this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding. Or he hides it to two-thirds of our people. Why? Because hey, there is a high level of value, okay, with this understanding, which we have been given, you know, through the Holy Spirit, okay? And the first scripture... Um, the first scripture that I was meditating upon was uh, Romans chapter 11, verse 33. And it reads, oh, the depth of the riches, both of the wisdom and knowledge of the most high. How unsearchable are his judgments and his ways past finding out, man. All right. Depths it is depths is levels to this thing, man. You know, like the scripture said, how unsearchable. All right, are his judgments and his ways, okay, and his ways past finding out, you know? So, a, a, again, there is a value unto this understanding which we have been given, man. All right, the Lord just doesn't give a this truth unto anybody, you know, as the scripture is written. It says, wisdom shall not dwell in a malicious soul, you know? So the Heavenly Father just doesn't give out his wisdom, you know, just to anybody, okay? Not to mention that, but hey, as it is written, you know, it says it was given unto you to know the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, but unto them it is not given, all right? And that's just to show you that, again, the mysteries of the kingdom of heaven, the kingdom of heaven is speaking about this truth, this wisdom, knowledge, and understanding, you know, as it is written, but unto them it was not given, but it was given unto you to know the mysteries, man. Okay? And these scriptures are truly a mystery, you know? And through the Holy Spirit, 
through Yahweh Shah's mercy, all right, and we're able to, you know, um, decrypt the code. If I'm saying that correctly, all right, we're, un we're able to understand these dark sayings. We're able to understand the parables, man, okay? We're able to understand the riddle, okay? But again, unto them, it was not given. So that's just to show you, you know, again, Yahweh Shemal Shah, hey, he really um, hides hey, things that are viable, man. And you truly got to look at it like that, man. You know, Yahweh Shemal Shah just don't give, <laughs> you know, he just doesn't show us treasures unto everybody, man. You know, it's very rare that you come across, you know, uh, an authentic, I'm trying to think of a stone, man. I'm trying to think of a very valuable. It's very rare that you you come across a an authentic, you know, ruby, you know, <laughs> or an authentic um, sapphire or amethyst, man, or a topaz or, or even gold, man. You know, it's very rare that you come across a solid a, a, a solid a brick of gold okay why because it's viable you know and this is why this truth especially if the lord has opened your eyes if the lord has called you into this thing hey that's not no light thing okay because again hey it was given unto you okay so let's get um let's get second ezra and i'm just doing a walk and talk something that was on my spirit you know, because, hey, this wisdom knowledge and understanding right now, you know, this world, as we see, hey, they don't look this thing. They don't look at this truth, you know, to be valuable. All right, but us brothers, especially in the time of Jacob's trouble or even in our day to day, scriptures speak about how wisdom, a hey, meet us in every thought. All right. And the wisdom knowledge and understanding really preserves us, man. It preserves us from certain situations. You know, it preserves us from going off. It preserves us, you know, getting ourselves in, in, in fucked up situations, man. All right. But again, you know, our people don't really see the benefit of this thing right now, man. They don't see the benefit of this truth, you know. So this is why, again, hey, it's a blessing that the Lord gave it unto us. That's a lot for rambling. Let me get the precept. Second Ezra chapter 8. Okay, 2 Ezra chapter 8, verse 61. And now, Salaki, and therefore is my judgment now at hand. All right, what judgment? Hey, the Heavenly Father's coming with great, okay, great uh, calamities unto this place, Babylon the Great. All right, but the judgment is going to begin at his people, so called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans. All right, you are the real children of Israel, according to, according to the Bible, verse 62. But these things I have not shewed unto all men, but unto thee and a few like thee. You see? So Yahweh Bashamal Shah has revealed these things unto a few. Okay? As it is read, for many are called, but few are chosen, man. All right? The Lord is only dealing with a small number according to the masses, man. Okay? This is things that brothers always go into, man. Yahweh Bashamal Shah is not dealing with the Israelite masses, man. You know, he's not dealing with the small number. He's really dealing with the meek. He's dealing with the lowly, okay? He's dealing with the small number. And this is things that brothers always go into, man. All right, but nevertheless, think about it, man. <laughs> you know, think about all the valuable things in this world, okay? The majority of the valuable things are hidden, okay? So you have to liken that unto this truth, all right? The Lord has not revealed this wisdom unto everybody, okay? Now, let's get 2 Ezra. I believe 2 Ezra chapter 12, okay? 2 Ezra chapter 12, verse 36. Oh, let's start at verse 35. This is the dream that thou sawest, and these are the interpretations. Thou only has been met to know this secret of the highest you see so hey the lord is like a secret <laughs> you
You know, and you know how Jake is. You know, Jake got a big mouth, so he would fuck around and tell everybody the secret. But hey, what, the thing with secrets is somebody be like, hey, this is a secret. You're really supposed to keep that, you know, between, you know, the individuals that know it, you know? And that's how the Lord likens it. If the Lord don't want you to get this truth, hey, you ain't going to get it at the end of the day, man. You know, we see that continually, man. We see that every day. You know, you, you try to tell a Jake in the world, you know, about, you know, <laughs> you, try, you, try to, you, try, you try to tell Jake this good news, you know, and Jake, you know, fuck around and, you know, ask you, you know, hey, what are we going to do to get the bag? <laughs> you know, it's a lot. I'm just a little excited right now, man. But, you know, the Lord shows us that continually, man. You know, and I'm just flowing through the spirit. Okay, Salakia for, you know, getting off track and rambling. But this is just something that I wanted to get into, man. You know, hey, like it says, now, therefore, write all these things that thou hast seen in the book and hide them. Okay, and, and, and how can you hide something that's in a book? All right, again, it's written in parabolic form. Okay, meaning that hey, if you have been met or if you have... If the Lord has given, given it unto you to understand, you're going to see it. See, many of our people, they pick up the sword and try to understand what's written. All right, but guess what? You know, it, it wasn't meant for them to, to, to understand it. All right, and I just got, let me see. Probably got one more scripture. All right, and probably wrap this thing up. Just don't be, I just don't want to ramble man ramble keep rambling all right especially on this yeah i just don't want to keep rambling all right so lock here for the noise but this is the book of matthew chapter 13 and verse 44 okay hey just to back it up and show you that the kingdom of heaven is like unto this knowledge okay and it says again the kingdom of heaven is like unto treasure hid in a field you see and it says, the which, when a man hath found, he hideth, and for joy thereof goeth and selleth all that he had, and buyeth that field. You see? So that's just to show you the kingdom of heaven is likened unto a treasure. Okay? A when a man had a like the scripture says, or for, for for when the witch, when a man hath found, he hideth. All right, and it says he goeth and selleth. You know, he goeth and selleth all that he had, and buyeth that field. See this. Hey, that's what the truth is like unto, man. The most rarest thing in this world that you can think of, man. You know, the rarest animal, the rarest, all right, gold, silver, the rarest stone, all right. Whatever is rare, it's very, it's, it's very hard to find it, all right, because it's precious. It has value, and that's the same thing like unto this knowledge, man. This knowledge is very precious. This knowledge is very valuable, man. You know? Okay, when it hey, when this wisdom is applied, all right, <laughs> hey, there's no limit, you know, until you how about Shemal Shah. All right? You know, so that's the point, man. You know, Salakia for rambling. You know, matter of fact, let me get one more. Matter of fact, verse 45. Again, the kingdom of heaven is like unto a merchant man seeking goodly pearls. Who, when he had found one pearl of great price, went and sold all that he had and bought it. You know, so that's what so that's what this truth is, man. This truth is like the most viable thing that you can think of. And again, the Lord restricts others from attaining it, man. All right. Again, everybody is not going to come across valuable things in their life. You know, everybody ain't going to win the lottery. <laughs> you know, some Jake will. Everybody ain't going to find bricks of gold. Everybody ain't going to find the most precious stone. Why? Because it is hidden. It is hidden. Just like this truth. Yahweh Bashmah Shah has, has hid this truth. Okay? That's why it says, if this gospel be hid, it is hid unto those that are lost. You know? Uh, let's get this last one. And I'm going to wrap up. Um, 
book of Colossians chapter 1 verse 26 and it reads even the mystery which had been hid from ages and from generations but now is made manifest to his saints all right that mystery being this knowledge but it says now is being manifest to his saints the saints being the Israelites starting with the elect man all right so you know through the spirit I just wanted to bring out this lesson man when you really think about it top 10 rarest things found on earth you know and that's on a smaller scale it's many things that we don't even know about again because it's valuable and the lord hides things which are valuable so how much more this truth you know so a hey, lord willing this lesson was edifying to the next time giving all praise glory and honor to yahweh bahashem yahweh shah bahashem rakakadash the bonus, the apostles and elders, a great millstone that rule up. He's blessing unto the elect. Till next time, shalom, Ababa Ba, Kwame Asha Allah, shalom.